Hey everyone, Callie Gold here again. In this video, I'm going to show you what drones are used for, some real examples using drones, and some very important tips about drones and their ports, including automating battery operation. This video assumes you already have drone technology unlocked, but are not sure how to use it. What are drones used for? Drones are used to move non-fluid materials from one location to another. Why should you use drones for this? The biggest advantage for using drones is that you don't need to run any tracks between locations. Drones will auto-path between two locations. This advantage is at the expense of certain costs, however, namely power and batteries. Let's start a simple setup of moving one item from one location to another using one drone and two drone ports one drone port on the sending end and one on the receiving end. The drone itself will be used to carry the materials from one location to the other. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate this in real time now. As stated earlier, for a drone port, we need power. And on the sending end, we need some stuff to send. I'm gonna send 200 rotors from this location over to a storage container in that location over there. We also need a battery source. Got some batteries in here manually that I've placed. Just need a battery source to feed into the battery slot for the drone port. I'm gonna place the drone port down now. Here's the battery slot. Here's the outgoing. Here's incoming. Here's the drone status. Target, no destination set. Here's the power requirements. Let's hook up power. Power's hooked up, and let's hook up uh, our source of batteries. Batteries are coming in. Let's hook up our inventory. Inventory is going to the outgoing, so now we have power. We have no drone yet. We haven't named this particular port. 100 megawatts, and now we've got our battery source, and we've got items coming in from our storage into the outgoing containers on the drone port, not the drone. Set the drone down. We're gonna make a drone right here. Drone. Each drone port can only have one drone assigned to it. That's a key point I'll bring up again later. One last thing before we set up the other drone port is, let's name this drone port, drone port A outgoing goods. Okay, then I hit enter. Notice the drone is here, it's not doing anything, and that is because I haven't set a destination. If I set a destination anywhere, any port that I have, this drone is gonna pick up these goods and try to take it to there, okay? But let's go put it to the one we wanna put it to. Okay, I'm across the platform, drone port B, incoming goods is what I'm gonna call it. I've got an empty storage container. I'm going to put down a drone port here. You do not need to put batteries in this one. When a drone picks up batteries for a trip, it takes enough for a round trip. As long as you are supplying batteries in that other location, you do not need to put batteries in the destination. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and name this now. Drone port B in coming goods. Hit enter. And we have to add power to this. Okay, that's all we need to do on this side, except we need to hook up uh, the output. So anything coming here into the incoming then should automatically go to the storage container, which is empty right now. Okay, we're gonna go back to drone port A, and we're going to set drone port B as its destination and see what happens. Okay, I'm back at drone port A, outgoing goods. We've got our batteries in. We've already loaded 200 rotors from here into the drone port. When we place the drone down, the drone already picked them up. That's why there's nothing here. The name of this drone port is drone port A, outgoing goods. We need to set a destination to tell this drone where to take these items. Let's do that right here in this interface. This port, port name, destination. Let's find the destination. Drone port B, incoming goods, which is the one I just set up. Let's select it. And what should happen now is this drone goes through its animation, launching itself and coming over to here. I'll come over here and 
keep an eye on it. As you can see, it is starting to come up now. The drone is gonna come over here, and the first thing it's gonna do is if it has inventory, if it has anything it's in its inventory, it's going to attempt to put it into this incoming slots here. And I said attempt, if it has anything in its inventory. When it's done with that, if it gets done, then it'll try to look into the outgoing and see if there's anything to pick up, which we're not doing in this instance. Okay, the drone has uh, dropped off all its inventory, everything it had, and it's checking the outgoing to see if there's anything to pick up. Regardless of there, if there is or there isn't, it's now gonna go back to its home port. And it's gonna repeat the process. It's gonna go back to its home port. If it has something, it'll put it into the incoming on that port. It'll check to see if there's anything to pick up for the outgoing. After it goes through that, it'll lift off again and come back here and repeat the same process. Based on my observations, there's only one instance where I see that will stop a drone from going through this endless loop of checking each port, flying to each port, checking for incoming, checking for outgoing, and moving back and forth. And that is if all of these slots are full and the drone still has inventory, but can't deliver all of it to the incoming slots. Then it will sit on this port until it can. Let's check our storage over here. The successfully delivered this. It came out of the drone port on the conveyor into our storage to drone B, okay? That is the simple process of moving goods from one place to another. So that wraps up just moving goods from one drone port to another using just one drone. We went over some highlights. I also jumped forward a little bit to talk about some of the complexities of drone ports. But if you need to move something from one place to another, we got that covered in this video. In the next video about drones, I'll kick it up a notch and we'll reinforce a little bit what we learned today, but I'll also cover uh, battery storage. We're also going to talk about what happens when you add more than one drone and you have a situation where the inventory is full, which I briefly touched on that here, but I'll actually show it in practice on the next video about drones. But I wanted to get this one out for people that want to get started. They want to move something, let's say across the map, and they don't want to have to run conveyors. They don't want to run trains. They want to get some stuff moved from across the map without having to use pathing like in trucks. Well, I showed you here today how to do it, and I hope I gave a good explanation of that. And if I get good feedback on this, we will make a lot more videos for Satisfactory. It's the main game I play right now. I really like it. Please give me your feedback on that if you like this video. And if you did uh, and want more guides for Satisfactory, please consider subscribing here. It doesn't cost anything. Thank you guys and have a great weekend. Have a great day.